This is the Black Pages, and today's excerpt comes from Martin and Malcolm in America, A Dream or a Nightmare by James Cone. Although the spirituality of the Black Church bestowed upon Martin a somebodiness that racism could not destroy, it did not at first change his mind about hating white people. Education and exposure beyond the church did that. I did not conquer this anti-white feeling until I entered college and came into contact with the white students through working in interracial organizations. Through the study of sociology under the direction of Walter Chivers and other professors at Morehouse, Martin came to see that racism was not primarily personal but structural and thus linked to the political economy of capitalism. He also observed that some whites were working, albeit gradually, to eliminate racism. His resentment slowly began to disappear as he associated um, as he associated with more whites of goodwill, especially in an interracial especially in interracial intercollegiate council. The wholesome relations we had in this group convinced me that we have many white persons as allies, particularly among the younger generation, Myron recalled. I had been ready to resent the whole white race, but as I got to see more whites, my resentment softened and a spirit of cooperation took its place. Although racism is structural and it affects all people who are of non-white background, it's a structure that has been created because of capitalism, the need for slave labor, the need of wealth and money and security that the colonists had was immense in order to build this country when they came here. That does not absolve them, although white people need to take responsibility for the privileges that they do have today because of the system that was created in the past. If we are trying to be like Martin, if we're all trying to get to peace, we have to overcome our hatred and resentment that has caused us so much pain. It's not gonna be easy, but it must be done if that is truly the path we are choosing.